Hi boys and girls and welcome back to Reader's Workshop. This week we have started learning about a brand new genre, which means we are learning about a brand new type of book. And those books are called nonfiction. And remember that nonfiction stories are about real things. They are about real people, real animals, real events. And they teach us all about the things that are in our world. So today we, we read a story about the bird watch, about birds. And so we will go through our book and kind of recap what we read. So remember in a non or in a nonfiction story in the beginning, you might have a table of contents and that is where you, it has each section laid out that is in the story and it gives you the page number. So you can go back to that section if you wanted to learn about or read about their feathers again or the feet of a bird, it would tell you exactly where to go. That is what a table of contents is and it's always at the beginning of a story. So in this book, we learned um, about all different types of birds. We learned that there are many types of different birds that live almost everywhere in the world. You have some birds that have feathers, some that stay in the warm weather or in the cold weather, and some that stay in the dry and wet weather. All birds have two legs and two wings and most birds can fly. We also learned about um, their beaks, and we learned that each bird has a different beak. And you will see that in our nonfiction books, we usually have a subheading, so it's telling us that we are gonna be learning all about different types of beaks on this page. And then we also have like a text box um, that just kind of will either ask you a question or give you a fun fact about one of these birds. And remember in our nonfiction stories, we, they use real pictures. That is how we know that we are reading a nonfiction story. We also learned today that birds have different feet. That is over here in our subheading. Um, and when we were doing our reading, we came across some of our bold words, which also would be just some words that maybe you are not sure of what they mean. So when they're, when you come across a word that is either in bold, um, in our nonfiction books, they have a glossary, which will give you the definition of the bold word. So after you read the definition, then you go back and you'll be able to understand the sentence um, that they are talking about. So that is also another attribute of a nonfiction book. They will have bold words or a glossary to help you understand the book better. We learned about also the different types of feathers that a bird can have. The colors of the feathers will tell us which bird they come from. We learned about how birds, different birds have differently shaped wings for flying. This is another caption or a text box that tells us about um, this bird, the owl. Then we have our close-up pictures. We learn how birds lay eggs. This was our subheading. We have another um, caption that goes along with the picture and then an even closer picture of a baby bird hatching. Once again, we have our bold word. So that's gonna let us know that's an important word that we need to know what it means so we can better understand the story. And they have blue eggs. And then it talks about those birds in the winter. And then at the end of our story, it asks questions about what did you think? So sometimes in our nonfiction stories, they like for you to think about the facts that you have learned. All right, boys and girls, and at the very end of our story, we have our glossary that tells us what the bold words mean. They give us a definition, and then it has an index as well that will let you know where um, the eggs would be at. If you're wanting to know where a certain thing in the story is, it tells you exactly where it is and exactly on what page it is.
Okay, so today on Seesaw, I want you to go and you are going to tell me what the book was about. So you are going to be able to identify the main idea of the story. So you're going to let me know what was this entire book about. When we were reading it, we were reading all about different types of birds. And then I want you to draw one thing that you learned from the story. Remember, we learned about how birds have different shaped wings, how they have different feet, um, how they lay their eggs. So I want you to draw one picture of the something that you learned from our story. Okay, readers, let's get started.